In this video, we will discuss the pathological features of colonic adenocarcinoma. So let's start with the gross features. Now the gross features depend whether the tumor is on the right side of colon or on the left side of colon. You know that the right side of colon is also called the proximal side of colon and the left side of colon is also known as distal side of colon. Now the tumors that develop in the proximal or right sided colon appear as polypoid masses, polypoid exophytic masses. Polypoid means that they appear like a polyp just like this and exophytic means that they project in the lumen of the intestine. And these tumors rarely cause obstruction. Why do these rarely cause obstruction? Because they occupy only a part of circumference of this colon. They don't occupy the whole 360 degree of the colon. They are occupying only a small part of circumference. That is why they rarely cause obstruction. Now, contrast to this, the tumors of the left sided colon are annular lesions. Annular means ring like. So, they not involve only a small part of circumference, rather, they occupy the whole of the circumference. So, you can see here how does the tumor appear? It is occupying the 360 degree of a circumference just like a annular lesion. And these lesions have a napkin ring constriction. So, you can see here in this diagram that this tumor is in the form of napkin ring and is causing constriction of the human. So you see annular lesions with napkin ring constrictions in the left sided tumors and you see polypoid exophytic masses in the right sided tumors. And remember that the tumors growing in the proximal or right sided colon rarely cause obstruction because they are just like a polyp and the tumors in distal or left sided colon causes often causes obstruction because they are annular lesions occupying the whole 360 degree of the colon. Now let's come to the microscopic features of colonic adenocarcinomas. So the keywords to remember for colonic adenocarcinomas is adeno plus carcinoma. The word adeno means glands. So you will see tall columnar epithelial cells forming glands. The second keyword is carcinoma and as carcinomas implies invasion. So you will see that these glands will invade the underlying tissues into the submucosa and into the muscularis propria. Now when these glands are invading the underlying tissue of submucosa and muscularis propria, then these underlying layers start to develop fibrotic connective tissue as a reaction to this invasion. This development of thick fibrotic connective tissue as a response to invasion by these glands is known as desmoplastic response. So desmoplastic response is the development of fibrotic tissue. Now there are some variants of colonic adenocarcinomas. The first is undifferentiated adenocarcinomas. Undifferentiated means that, the, that these tumors do not show differentiation into glands like this. So these glands are absent. These are undifferentiated. Second variant is mucinous neoplasms in which the glands secrete a lot of mucinous secretions and the third is signet ring morphology in which the nucleus is pushed to the periphery with a large mucin vacuole in the center. So remember for colonic adenomas you usually see tall columnar cells forming glands and you see invasion of underlying tissues and the response of these underlying tissues in the form of development of fibrotic connective tissue that is called desmoplasia. So this concludes the pathological features of colonic adenocarcinomas.